and this is the SP10M by Ridiculous Dominic on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Fox Farm for this demonstration of this lovely and interesting little piece of equipment. It is a plow 4.27 megabytes to download, uh, three slots on console. It is very nice. Now, where do we find it? First of all, we'll find it here under plows and we have two versions. We have uh, the standard and in Unreal. So the difference between these two uh, will be quite apparent. One is nine mile per hour working speed and one is 24 mile per hour working speed. Now, there are ways to get around that, but this is nice to have just like this so that, um, you know, you don't have to fool around too much. However, 10.5 meters, so it's quite wide. 320 horsepower does take a fair bit of horsepower. Let's take a look at the standard version here. They both are actually identical options. One just is allowed to go faster than the other. Add function, standard or mulcher. Now this is an interesting choice. Um, I'm not sure why you would even pick the standard. I would just go with the mulcher one all the time. However, uh, it is a choice you have, so you are given the choice. Main colors, we have a whole bunch of wonderful colors, plus some interesting fancy colors and uh, standard uh, colors that you would expect from Mr. Dominic. And I do believe um, familiar colors to many of you. We'll go with that one. No charge for the colors. Design color is the tines. And there you have it. So pretty basic, simple stuff there. You get it like this. You can hook it from the front or the back. Uh, as I said, this is, I do believe, ooh, let's see now. Uh, it's hard to tell which one you picked if you pick, uh, uh, if you pick the mulching one or the non-mulching one. Now, as you can see here, I've hooked it up backwards, as it were, because there's a three-point link on each side. Yes, this is the nine miles per hour one. Uh, it does work in both directions. Uh, is it easier to pull or push in one direction than the other? Uh, possibly. I, I have all the same tractors, so it's a little hard to determine that or not. So here we have it um, connected in the correct manner. You could also connect it to a f the front as in a front mounted one. So as you can see here, this one plows like, um, well, like it does. Uh, if you lift it and uh, let's get our help window on. There we go. L1 and X folds it. And when it folds, it goes like this. So it's very easy to transport it. it telescopes really nicely into a nice tight little package easy to transport we also have allow to create fields if you wish to and that's it it's pretty simple piece of equipment that uh, we'll talk about this in a moment uh, so here's here's one folded up um, we have it uh, on the front mounted for this particular um, demonstration here lower it down and as we go forward as you can see 22 23 25 miles per hour she zips along pretty nice you could cover a lot of ground doing this and it seems fairly controlled so um it is pretty nice uh right so uh, mounted on the front you should be aware that possibly this might happen if your fields are somewhat close together as it happened to me so just kind of be aware of that I would probably mount it on the rear of the um, rear of the tractor just just because so now the big question is what about the mulching uh, what about the mul oh and as you can see this guy's gone uh, we ha I kind of set them up on an angle, and so anyways, right. So, mulching. This one I have set to um, the mulching um, feature. And uh, as you can see, uh, it still plows. Uh, and that's because it plows and mulches at the same time. And how do I know that? Well, 
because I set my soil composition here, I only show plowed here. So obviously uh, all this stuff is getting plowed. But if I zip over to uh, soil composition and uh, see mulched, it also has mulched everywhere where I have plowed with the uh, the combination mulch and plower so nice uh, you can as you plow it mulches and it doesn't matter which oh I think it does matter which way it says it only goes in the forward uh, mentions if you are mulching it will only mulch in the forward yes so you see that see I've gone backwards and plowed so what does that mean that means that in order to mulch and plow you have to have the tines facing well forward as in if it's mounted on the back you have to be traveling forward and plowing it that's where it will plow and mulch if you have this mounted on the front you have to have it mounted from this side so that the tines point forward so that the mulching and the plowing both take place at the same time so if I go like this and go forward now now it is mulching and then plowing and how would you how do we know that because you can see it has been mulched here whereas where I backed up with it it did not hopefully that answers any of your questions um, uh, Dominic always makes great mods and um, this one works just great um, I don't know about the not too sure why the workers want to wander off it could be because the um, space between fields is very small you might want to do a headland around to avoid that but other than that uh, very nice piece of equipment the sp 10 m by ridiculous dominic on farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till next time Bye for now.